Okay, yes, hello. Hi, I'm your weird Uncle Ron. Are we related? Today I thought it would be fun to talk about products that succeed for little to no reason. Without further ado, here are my top 11 and a half what the fuck product successes. In order from most logical to least logical. Number 11 and a half, the Snuggie. Now, I don't necessarily give this a full number because I'm not convinced they invented something new here. It's just a backwards robe. Now, allow me to demonstrate. Now, I don't have a Snuggie or a robe because, you know, I have uh, flannels and they keep me nice and warm. But yeah, essentially, you see, I'm putting it on backwards. And voila, the Snuggie. Number 11, the yo-yo. Now, when I was buying the examples of the products, I found the Simpsons yo-yo. And uh, I didn't know it was comedically large. And I also didn't know that it was a uh, bubble, bubble bath. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Woo! Yeah, it yo's, but it doesn't yo back up. <laughs> So who would have thought that two cylinder shapes and a piece of string would be so popular? Now the first appearance of the yo-yo dates back to ancient Greece. In the 1920s, the popularity of the yo-yo skyrocketed as well as the 1990s. Wow, it really stood the test of time because not much has really changed. I think the yo-yo just teaches us that less is more. Number 10. The Furby. What is this thing? A bird, hamster, owl, fairy thing? They are notoriously creepy. Mine was even advertised as non-murderous. But it came with corroded batteries, so that was nice. So some history of this demonic toy. It was introduced in Christmas of 1998. The retail price shot up to $100 and even reached as high as $300 for one of these things. And these toys were glorified electronic stuffed animals. They could do anything. They talked to you, they sang, and eventually they could talk to each other. Furbies, their success will be our downfall. Number nine. Leg warmers and sweatbands. I'd say they make working out more glamorous, but I've never been exercising and thought, hey, you know what I need? More fabric on around my ankles. You know what else I need? A big, hot, sweaty material running across my forehead. They had nothing and they're silly. And they were really popular for some reason. Oh, so you could advertise you work out. Number eight, YOLO. Every once in a while we have a t-shirt craze that comes out and we simply can't help ourselves. There are the classics like Don't Mess With Texas, I Love New York, and the almighty Where's the Beef. But this one messes with me because I've been saying this for years before this shirt even came out. Well, my sentiment was more you should be careful because you only die once, but I guess Yodo didn't have the same kind of ring. Number seven. Butterfly clips. Ugh. These look ridiculous. I'm just calling it a what the fuck success product because they're so ugly and kids still wore them. People actually walked around flaunting this. Why? Number six, the slap bracelet. Woo! This is such a pointless thing, but a fun accessory. Actually, a lot of these are accessories. Oh, also, it should be noted that they took these away in school and banned them because a girl slit her wrist. How? This thing couldn't cut butter. I think they made that up so kids wouldn't go, Woo! Number five. Mood ring. It says I'm... Well, it's dark purple. It says I'm very, but it cuts off, so... I'm very something, I just don't know. I don't think one of these has actually even ever accurately predicted my mood. It's something to do with your skin reacting with the stone, I don't know. It just changes colors. They're fun. Number four, <laughs> silly bands. 
These were mutilated rubber bands that were shaped like things, so it makes it wacky and silly. This one's Snow White, I think. I'm not sure what that is. Here's an elephant. I think this is Maggie Simpson. Oh, and you can trade these. I remember trading a couple. Which takes us to our next product. Number three. Pogs. Were they trading cards? Sort of, but they were circles. One notable thing about Pogs is they were kept in Pringles cans. Now this Pringles can is a newer variety, so it's shaped a little differently. But I remember keeping a lot of these in a Pringles can. And what did they have on them? Literally anything. Anything. Here we got Lion King. We got fish. We got string cheese for some reason. Ickis from Our Real Monsters. And Snoopy. There's not much to be said about them. They're just cool and you can trade them. Number two, the pet rock. I think it's really cute that it comes with air holes so this rock can breathe. Here's what your pet rock comes in. Oh, he's sleeping. Now I know what you're thinking. What if that rock needs some exercise? Well, don't worry, they got you. They include a leash. And if you're unsure on how to take care of your rock, they include an instruction manual as well. Your pet rock will be a good companion. You can sing to it, talk to it, or you can even take it on a date with you. Hello, potential mate. Here is my pet rock. Uh, goodbye. Your pet rock can be very playful. Once in a while, they like to be tickled. It's a rock. Number one, anything on Kickstarter. I love the World Wide Web. Case in point. Hello! But at some point, it gets to be a little... It goes a little too far for my liking. The fact that anybody could post any idea they want and it could be funded seems really great until you look at some of the projects that have actually been funded. Then it gets to be a little uh, confusing and uh, diminishes my hope a little bit for the human race. Thank you for joining me as I talked your faces off on what the fuck successful products. And I have a capitalism comment question for everyone. What kind of product would you invent if it would be guaranteed successful? Be as specific as you possibly can be. I may not be related to you, but I'm your Uncle Rald. Thank. Hello? Hey, I know you haven't heard of my social media. Well, I have a Facebook, a Twitter, and a Tumblr. Oh, and if you really want, you could subscribe to me for more stories from your uncle. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. No, I just dialed a random number. Okay, goodbye!